This is NFRW Fast Forward. I'm Ann Shockett, president of the NFRW, the National Federation of Republican Women. NFRW supports President Trump to have Antifa designated as a domestic terrorist organization. I have issued a formal statement to that effect to the media and on our website and social media pages. Americans are aghast, saddened, angered by the violent insurrection and rioting by the radical left inciting criminals and mob aggression, setting our cities ablaze, destroying our communities, devastating livelihoods, spreading fear and hatred, and taking innocent lives. Our president immediately spoke out against the death of George Floyd and asked the Justice Department to expedite an investigation. He not only spoke out against the violence across our nation, but also took action by mobilizing federal resources to stop the lawlessness. It took Joe Biden days before he condemned the riots. Seems that when critical issues are to be solved, Democrats are nowhere to be found. Please join me in prayer for our country. This week in NFRW, our virtual campaign management school focused on the Democrats' push for all vote by mail elections. They're using COVID-19 to game the election system. The president called them on it. Twitter may not like it, but the vast majority of Americans know he's right. In certain states, you don't even have to request a ballot. They're sending them to everyone, including people who've moved or died. With vote by mail elections, there is no voter ID. Ballot harvesting creates more opportunities to steal elections, to change votes after ballots have been collected, to not turn in ballots for the opponent, and more. What can we do? Here are the top suggestions by political director Terry Hauser. Write a letter to the editor about why going to all mail elections is a bad idea. If you get a hint of something amiss, be aggressive and fight back. Make sure Republican ballots get returned honestly and legally. For more information, go to protectthevote.com. Sometimes it takes a village and sometimes one person. Brigida Mulliken of Maryland FRW she came to America at seven and became a citizen during high school. Growing up, she sewed her own clothes, but while she had not sewn for 30 years, all that changed with the mandate to wear masks. In one six week period, Brigida made over 700 masks with materials from friends and neighbors. She's given those masks to hundreds of people from letter carriers to volunteers at Meals on Wheels according to her federated sister, Kathy Raines, Brigida sews to the wee hours of the morning. NFRW call to action. NFR warriors, let's take back our house. We crushed the phone banking for the special house elections in California and Wisconsin. I know we can even top those efforts for New York's special election for CD27. Training starts next week. Details are coming out soon. NFRW is focused on success, building leaders, energizing communities, and keeping America strong. This has been another Fast Forward. I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Be well and be safe.